Ali, how you doing? Good, but are you okay? Yeah, not bad at all, not bad at all. Thanks for taking the time. No uh, problem. Sure, you were you yep, all last night watching the, the end of the game? Well, it was longer than we, we expected, wasn't it? Um, with a delay and things like that, like, you know, would, would we have taken it with a result that we've ended up with? Absolutely. Um, another great performance. Um, and it puts us 12 points, top of the group. Um, going well, the momentum's with Scotland, everything feels good and and yeah, it was a bit of a, a shambles, you know, with what, what was going on. But, you know, are we glad that the, the game went ahead? Absolutely. And we managed to get the win. That's what I was going to say. It would have been one of those kind of awkward ones if they had called it off after nine minutes. We were 1-0 up and then have to... Yeah, be- I, I think I think, I think think it, it would have been very difficult. Like you say, it would have been had to to be in, you know, really, really bad um, to for, it, for the opportunity or something else to happen that it wouldn't have went ahead they, they tried everything to keep it going and and fair play to to, to the ground staff they managed to keep it on and, and and try and get yeah there was a bit of a delay but they got there in the end and uh you know they managed to get the job done and the players you know refocused quickly and and, and got you know the goals and, and got another three points so what's your thoughts charlie we're going to germany or what yeah i think i think for for me as a, as a supporter it's, and, and it's easy for us to say that i think we're there i think it's it's all about you know, the next couple of games and, you know, to get 12 points, first time ever for, you know, 12 points out of 12 is, is a brilliant start. Um, and, and hopefully we can continue that in September. I mean, the, the squad seemed quite, obviously, quite tuned in and, and switched on, if you like. So they won't allow themselves to kind of say that it's in the mind that they're, they're no. going. But if you're a player yourself, do you kind of have that in the back of your mind? Do you think you no? Know, no, I don't think you do. I think you just think that we've we've done a good job and we've had a good start. They know that that anything could happen. You know, you know these lads coming back for preseason, the start of the season, have to have their form that they've they've gone away with. Um, and the big couple of games coming up in the next few uh, in the start of the next season, so they have to be ready and prepared. I don't even think they'll be talking about about Germany. I think that. Steve will say, "Listen, well done, lads. You've you've got us in a good position. We're we're going there. That's four wins. Go away, enjoy your summer, but come back and ready, prepare for work hard for next season because it's going to be another long season for us in terms of the games that they're going to play. And also at the end of it, you know, there's going to be a tournament for us, and um, we have to we have to be, be ready for that. Yeah. Just conscious. I, I don't have you for long, so if you don't mind, just to switch gears a wee bit. Obviously, the big yeah. Big story in, in Scottish football recently is obviously your old your old gaffer Brendan Rodgers is, is is back at Celtic. Good yeah. move for good move for Brendan. Obviously, good move for Celtic, but good move for Brendan. In your thoughts? Yeah, I think so. I think it's both. For, for, I think it's good for both. I think you know Celtic needed Brendan. Brendan needed Celtic in terms of of where what's happened in the last you know four or five months at Leicester. Um, listen, he's probably had opportunities to to stay in the Premier League and. Um, but the project, or probably where the clubs are in terms of uh, where they've finished, probably not f- the, f- the right feel for him at the moment. Listen, I said before, he, he's adored by the Celtic support, and and after you know two or three games, you'll always have small minority that will 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 never forget the past. But if he starts winning football matches, then they'll be singing his name, and um, I just think it's a good fit. I think it's a big, it's a, it's a, it's a big uh, statement from the from the club losing after losing Ange. Uh, you know, Dermot obviously and, and the board knew who they wanted straight away to to make that impact again and, and Brendan was the one. And um, I think now that Brendan's come back in, um, you know, everything in, available in Scotland will be something they're looking at. But I think most of what we're reading and, and it's only what you read in the, in, in, in the papers is that, you know, the European side is what, what they want to try and improve on. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that was touched on it kind of briefly there about the fans perhaps not welcoming them back or not all of them anyway no as a, as a player obviously Cal McGregor's been there before when he was there James Forrest other guys as well do you expect or do you, do you even acknowledge a, an apology or, or is that something that do you, do you expect the manager to kind of come in and say look this is what happened we get past it we draw a line under it or is it just no. something that just kind he's, of happened you know he's probably spoke to Cal he's probably spoke to James about you know, his plans and where he sees and what he sees. Listen, there'll be no apologies. There'll be, you know, that's football's football. Um, Brendan Rodgers is talking on the pitch in terms of on the grass and, and where he is, his career and what he does and what he's done previously speaks for itself. Um, and, and it will just ignite what 
what these group of players have got in terms of they've lost someone that they had real trust with and and they had affinity with and with with Ange and, and Brendan has to, to to get this group of players together and and have a way of style of playing that he, that suits them in terms of what he wants um, and and no I think that he'll be leaning on James he'll be leaning on Callum to to see where the groups are and. And, and what the characters are in the group and, and, and try and build relationships from there. And like I said, winning football matches is all he'll have he'll be worried about and what he wants to talk about. I mean the, the reports coming out is that he's getting a you know a 30 million transfer kitty for, for the Champions League. Is that a drop in the ocean when it comes to Europe? Is you know, can he can he compete with that? Do you think that kind of money well, if you're smart, if you're smart in the in the windows and in in, in in the sales, you can be because you look at what what Ange done with with the Japanese lads coming in and, and different signings. Um, you know, he, he was clever in that market. Didn't cost them, you know, crazy money. And and Brendan will have to do the same. And you know, no, everybody has hundreds and hundreds of millions. But I think if you're saying thirty million is a, it's a big pot for Celtic to 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 go and splash on on players. Um, so. I think they're given an opportunity to to try and enhance what they've done and what they can build on, and um, yeah, that's that's what you, you do when you're at you know big clubs. You you want to try and improve, and and let's say I think domestically they know that they're one of the two best clubs in in, in domestically. They're going to win titles, they're going to win trophies, but the European side is something that they they feel that they have to improve on. Yeah, and just the other side of the Glasgow, obviously Malik Tillman, the news yesterday that. He won't be signing for Rangers permanently, but there's a kind of a, a, a twist in the tail, if you like, where Rangers are essentially getting getting money for nothing because Bayern reneged on the deal. It's kind of win-win almost, though. obviously. They would prefer yeah, it. Like to have he, he's a top young player and, and, and it showed signs of being you know, quality. Um, Bayern obviously have different ideas now for him and that's something that Rangers will have to, to get over. Um, but... Mm-hmm. You know, Rangers will have probably known about this for the last couple of weeks in terms of the vibe that we're getting from Bayern and, and where it was going to go. Um, and, and they were put, started looking, or they would have been looking anyway at different options. And and, and there's no doubt that Rangers will, will bring other players for that position. But, you know, he's obviously a young player that's played in, in, in top club in Bayern and, and, and got used to playing at Rangers, who's a big club. And, and hopefully, let's say, they can bring in somebody that can replace him and, and bring in goals and assists and, and make a, um, a big... Um, statement in terms of in the group and, and going forward. So I guess with the Rangers, there was the overhaul and all that kind of thing. With, with Michael Beale had to sign new players. He's, he went for sort of English Championship level at the moment. We've seen Kieran Dow, Dion Sterling, and, and whatnot. Is that a good business model transfer wise? In your opinion, that yeah, that's the yeah, kind of market yeah. that should be shopping on? No, I think so. If you can get them, at, like you're saying, free transfers and, and there's an opportunity there to bring them in. Um, yeah, football and wise, no problem. I've seen them all. I think football and wise, but you know, it's going and playing in front of fifty thousand, demanding success and demanding wins is is a little bit different. Um, so they have to get used to that. But it's a model that Rangers have have, have had success before on, um, bringing players in and selling them. You know, look at Calvin Bassey bringing them in cheap and and then selling for big money. So it's a market they've they've done well in, and let's say they'll try and do that again. Right, Charlie, I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Mate. Thank you.